Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and uh, this is the uh, piece, you know, the, the video that's going to talk about a very important devo development over here in the Israel-Lebanon region in the Middle East and uh, it is actually this uh, maritime demarcation deal between uh, Israel and Lebanon and uh, this is actually a very uh, significant deal because uh, as of now since the beginning of these two countries, Israel and Lebanon is still at war. Uh, technically, they are still at war. So they are still in the state of war to, even today. And uh, for them to actually, you know, sign a, any form of international treaty is actually a very significant. And uh, this maritime, uh, maritime border deal actually will resolve the 160 square kilometers maritime dispute uh, over in this region here. And uh, and despite the signing of deals they still do not have diplo diplomatic uh, relationships uh, between the two country and uh, this deal is only possible because uh, of the the mediation of the united states and uh, this is actually a very uh, significant thing to be done by uh, the biden's administration i think this comes after you know, the good job by the Trump administration to help uh, Israel uh, revive uh, or rather you know, start diplomatic relationship with a lot of these Arab countries that has been hostile with Israel and uh, under Biden this is the most significant thing I believe that he has done uh, positively speaking uh, for the region so uh, under this deal uh, Israel will get the full rights to uh, to carry gas fuel and and uh the e lebanon side will have full rights over the kana gas field and uh but because kana actually goes into uh the the border of the israeli sea so so they actually you know i, I just, just show you this you know it's faster so the you can see that uh, there is the kana uh which is actually you know the one that will be given to lebanon uh in full and then below uh and then you can see that it actually crossed over to the green or the brown line which actually is the border the maritime border for israel so uh so as such you know if there is any uh you no know, profits that is to become from that region uh, israel will do have some rights to you know the profit over from that side and uh however at this at the current juncture actually there is no proven gas reserve located in the res in the region of kana so it's just no theoretical they are still yet to be discovered there's still exploration required but for carriage uh the carriage gas fuel uh which is actually uh 40 to 100 billion uh, cubic meters of proven and uh probable probable reserves will be fully under the israeli deal it does seem you know slightly to the advantage of israel but uh lebanon actually do not have a lot uh going for them uh because they their economy is in shambles uh they are undergoing a uh, hyperinflation uh there is an energy crisis uh i read that you no know, they only had you no know, one or two hours of electricity per day so the energy situation uh is actually extremely uh precarious for for uh, Lebanon and uh, they actually own so this entire deal is very uh, energy centric is the whole point is for Lebanon to get some uh, some uh, energy you know under under their belt so far they actually you know signed uh, agreement uh, with Egypt and Syria to import gas uh, I think it's around in June to supply 650 million cubic meters of natural gas and uh, they also had uh, requested Iran to help send fuel to Lebanon and uh, Lebanon has offered 600,000 tons of fuel over five months and, it, and that was in September so for Lebanon they are trying to resolve this energy crisis thing and they also try to you know, stabilize their, re their currency and uh, revive their economy so which is why you know this deal will, will be a huge boost for the country and uh, allow them to actually uh, become part of the one of these uh, OPEC countries you no know, or OPEC plus countries at least you know they they have some kind of uh, export and they can actually you know build their currency around this uh, 
gas uh, possible gas fuel and and with this deal which means that uh, Israel will also not uh, disturb uh, Lebanon and uh, they can actually uh, explore and uh, extract the gas and fuel uh, to their advantage so the let me sh and then uh, the, but then there's the question where Lebanon is de facto you know under the control of uh, this this group where you no know, some say it's terror some say it's freedom group uh, they are the Hezbollah so uh, the Hezbollah actually you know kind of have quietly you know agreed to you know this deal and uh, so let's hear what the Hezbollah guy have to say وفي الجانب الذي تولت القيام به في هذه المسألة كلها وفي هذه العملية تكون المهمة قد انتهت بناء عليه كل التدابير والإجراءات والاستنفارات الاستثنائية والخاصة الذي قامت بها المقاومة منذ عدة أشهر أعلن الآن أنها قد انتهت so in case you are kind of lost about you know what is he talking about basically hezbollah has a uh, launched a mobilization of sort and uh, basically a, a military operation against uh, maritime targets uh, and the gas fields uh, of israel and uh, with this deal uh, they declared that their mission has actually accomplished they actually accomplished what they set out to do uh, maybe it is true uh, maybe it is not so maybe the Hezbollah action actually get Israel, you know, to take the Le Lebanon concern over the you no know, maritime border more seriously and try to get a deal, or it could be a case where they are just you no know, bullshitting themselves, uh, bullshitting all over this thing. But you know, regardless, you no know, this this means that there will be a temporary peace, uh, reg uh, of this situation between uh Israel and Lebanon, and and uh I. Again, I have to give credit to the Americans and uh, let's hear from uh, this, the negotiator of, for the Americans and uh, let's see what he has to say. Historic day in the region of securing, showing what's possible under these circumstances to achieve an agreement that uh, creates hope and economic opportunity and stability for on both sides of the border. So I am truly grateful to be able to have reached this day with uh, under the leadership here uh, in Lebanon and the leadership on the other side. I truly believe and hope that this can be an economic turning point in Lebanon. So this is Amos Hoshtain, uh, the negotiator to, to this entire uh, amazing deal that no one thought is possible. And uh, so as you can see from the images, uh, from two sides you can see the on the on the top side this is actually you know amos hostein uh, with the lebanon side signing the agreement they did not sit in the same table to sign because they actually do not have a diplomatic relationship so uh so the agreement is first signed by the lebanon side and then it was then bring over to the israeli side and then the israeli side then uh, signed and confirmed this entire deal so so Regardless, this is I think this is a very good, very very good news for both countries. Uh, for Lebanon, you know, there is actually you know finally one more, one uh, hope of you know reviving their economy and get things back to normal. And for Israel, this is another step towards uh normalizing diplomatic relationship with their neighbors. Uh, however, in terms of the rhetoric that I have read, uh, the 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 people within uh the you know the ex I wouldn't say extremists but the nationalists uh or even the politicians in Lebanon you know do not see this as a a permanent or forever thing uh, they they view Israeli as a very racist country they they build the country on uh apartheid and uh they also do not really like Syria because uh Syria uh according to one politician actually say that uh they the Syrians actually killed more people, uh, more Lebanese than the the Israeli, and uh, they are, and they say that it's basically ruled by a dictator that killed their own people, massacred their own people, and then they are also surrounded by another country that is super racist, and uh, Lebanon Lebanon is kind of like you know feeling very screwed, 
over but so i would say that no you it, it will take some time before lebanon will actually you know uh stand up on its own feet again you know go back to their old glory days but starting with uh you know this agreement with israel perhaps one day they can stop fighting uh that will be you know a great boost to this region so anyway uh this is the new story uh, the big headlines uh of the signing of the maritime debark uh, demarcation deal the maritime border deal between israel and lebanon and uh, i will see you in the next update